good morning guys how you guys doing welcome you all to my channel i don't know where this you know video is going to be maybe at the beginning at the middle at the ending i don't know so hi guys how you guys doing is a beautiful saturday morning so this is just like paint i painted like my nails so i got stained at the palm so it is not blood in any way it is not an injury it's just like paint so today is a beautiful saturday morning and i have orders for t-shirts i want to design two t-shirts and i'm going to bring you guys along with me while i design them and also like print them out so this is saturday i literally spent like my saturday morning on family calls so i've literally been on call family calls for about three to four hours and i feel like it's normal because saturday morning i just like the days to like catch up with families especially like when you're in the diaspora you have to also make sure that you keep you know in touch with your family and friends so that you don't feel lonely and one of the reasons or reasons why people also complain about like loneliness in diaspora when they travel is because they disconnect ties with their family and friends so they feel like they are alone so it's also very necessary like i feel like you need to put in more efforts you need to be more intentional about trying to ensure that you are also keeping up the communication back home because like last last we all have the roots we all have where we originated from which you know no matter where you are you still have people back home that you have to look up to and also like try to ensure that they are fine so saturday mornings are just like the days to like catch up with people so my family as an example we have like a group chat a group whatsapp group so we just basically like dial the group saturday morning and then everybody just like connects or those available at that moment connect um it's just a time to have like this long family um calls you know talking about different things trying to catch up as siblings as family which is also like very cute because family is also like very important for me you know like i'm very you know family oriented so family making sure that i'm still connected to them even though i am the only one outside you know like the home country currently i also try to ensure that i'm still connected to them i try to like make sure that i'm still involved in every activities i still know what is going on i still know how they are faring which is very important to me so i had to get, uh, get off the call because i had to like just end the call as soon as possible but guys the call lasted for four hours you know different things different topics and it's fine so it's time to get back to work i actually like i'm making beans and potato i've put the beans on the pots right it's actually like cooking so while that is cooking you guys let me tell you guys something my if you watched my dormitory vlog where i told you guys that i moved from one dormitory to another in that dormitory vlog i specifically said that i have been blessed with roommates i feel like that is one thing i don't take for granted here because i don't have a choice to choose not like i don't have a choice to choose roommates they are actually choice to choose roommates if you have someone but i did not choose any roommates they basically like placed me this is looking like blood stain i need to try to get them off my palm so they literally like placed me in the room naturally right so that is something i'm also grateful for because people are being placed in a room whereby it's chaotic there is no peace and then they end up moving or changing their rooms as time goes on so my first set of roommates like they're so amazing and i'm going to say that again and then my current roommate you know she's also very 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 amazing like despite the fact that we are not from the same country i'm from nigeria she's from azerbaijan it is it is so amazing and i love the fact that i am learning like things about like or that part of the world how they believe how they think how things are you know like the other time she was just to me about like a music is it fox music you know how it's being played and all of that and for me that is something i'm also like very interested in so anyways my birthday is coming up and i am not really like a very birthday person i have not celebrated like my birthday before i have not like done like a birthday party i've not done like a birthday photo shoot before whether you have to go and take pictures to say maybe when i clock like a milestone age maybe that is what i'm going to like be motivated to do like photo shoots and to celebrate it but so far i am not really like a birthday person i don't celebrate it i don't do photo shoot because growing up 
we are not used to that you know there is no money for birthday celebration there is no money for birthday gifts and like growing up you can see like children that you know they'll do like these gift packs where they'll share for their classmates they'll cut cake in class they'll wear gowns we were not brought up that way because we don't have the funds for that and my mom basically was like more of this career person and since there was no enough funds she would rather say you know what this money you want to use to do birthday we can use it to buy your textbook we can use it to pay for your next tuition fee we can use it to like buy something so she's more of this um academic person so she won't want to go extra mile to celebrate birthdays she would rather channel that extra mile to your education so growing up i'm not really like that birthday person and i think like that kind of like affects like my mindset on how i picture birthdays i don't go extra mile for it trust me but something i started doing about three years ago was trying to get a gift for myself so everybody i get a gift for myself and you know i don't even like post it on social media i don't say happy but like i'm just very cool and quiet when it comes to birthday trust me so I started buying gifts intentionally for myself birthday and I also started buying you know gadgets I'm a lover of gadgets guys I really love gadgets I love things that serves as investment for me I would rather use like a thousand dollars to buy like a camera to buy like a phone I'd rather use like five hundred dollars to buy like a phone a gadget a camera a laptop a light than buying a wig than buying a makeup than buying a dress you know this is not to say that it is bad i'm just saying that for me i am more of an access kind of person compared to buying liability you know i can use that 500 dollars to buy like a sewing machine because i have this mindset of those assets when when i'm done when i'm tired i can resell them and i can also get something back from it and what am i going to gain when i buy this you know i feel like that is something that just like keeps me going basically so i can use like 500 dollars to buy like a sewing machine but i can't use that to buy like a clothing bag i can't use that to buy like a makeup this is just me personally i'm not saying that it's wrong but i can't sell back the clothes to get that value back and the clothes are going to go out of season i can't sell the wig i know you can sell like a wig to get the value back but for me personally i'm not really like a wig person hair person clothes person i'm more like an access babe if you know what i'm trying to say so i rather invest in like getting access like that so last year i got this camera that i'm using to vlog this canon g7x mark 2 as my birthday gift last year two weeks ago two years ago i got the system the pc that i'm currently using which has like dedicated graphics so i am very intentional about like buying birthday stuff but this year god i want to buy an ipad currently speaking I don't have the funds for ipad i don't have the money for ipad but this year one thing i want to buy this year as a birthday gift for myself is to buy an ipad you know um if you're watching video at this time i think it's just best for you to comment and say happy birthday because by the time this video is going to be up um it should be like my birthday or close to my birthday if you want to send me birthday gifts please i'm available for birthday gifts just in case if you have like the mindset or the idea or it's coming up to you to say oh i want to give you for birthday please i'm pretty much available i think i'm going to put like my paypal link in the description box you can just go ahead and send me something if you are in nigeria also you can go ahead i'm going to put like my pay stack you know if you're in africa you can use the pay stack if you are outside africa you can use the paypal so i'm going to put the paypal and then the pay stack details below if you want to give me yeah but if you don't have anything to give me you can just like comment happy birthday and just say like a little prayer so i my birthday is in two weeks time from now when i'm filming this video and then my previous roommate got me a birthday gift let me show you guys what it looks like i was so surprised when she came yesterday and she was like i got you something for your birthday and i'm like my birthday is still in two weeks but literally because she's not going to be in the city when the birthday comes so can you see how cute this bag is can you see how cute this bag is this bag she got it from c and a let me show you guys like the brand let me show you guys the brand let me flaunt the brand you guys can you see 
god this bag is so cute let me put the tripod somewhere and show you guys the full bag like i was not expecting it trust me when i said like i wasn't expecting it at all at all guys okay guys can you see how cute it's like very cute and portable and then the bag is from C and A and it's so cute guys like so cute I'm not even going to lie I love 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 this bag like you guys you guys must actually see the full bag can you guys see it see how cute it is like ah and then the fact that you can even carry it like this like a mini bag guys i was so surprised and i'm so happy i like i'm not even like a better person so i didn't even like shout it or like tell people you know because <laughs> God, I'm so fit. Get ready to be tired of me with this bag because you're gonna see me rock this bag every day. Just in case if you see me rocking this bag every day, just know because when somebody gives me things, I make sure I use them as much as possible. So you see this bag, and then the bag is black, it means that it goes with all outfits. Get ready to be tired of me and this bag. Just get ready to be tired of me and this bag because I am going to carry this bag everywhere. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm rocking this bag. I have an event. I'm rocking this bag. I'm going out. I'm rocking this bag. This bag is going to be my signature bag. So just get ready. So cute, guys. <laughs> Anyways, you know. Like I said, my birthday is in two weeks' time um, from when I'm making this video. So maybe when I put it up, it's going to be like a week time or a few days. I don't know, but just go ahead and comment. Happy birthday to me. And if you have anything you want to give me, the details is going to be in the description box. You can if you want to. So I am also planning on getting myself like a birthday gift. And I feel like this is something you should also do. You know, like get yourself like a gift it could be anything you don't have to wait for people to buy you things that you want to get especially as a lady and that is the reason why you have to ensure that you are working so if you have a job if you have like a source of livelihood source of income you can basically afford things you want to get maybe not everything but you can afford basic things maybe not for an example maybe not a brand new ipad but at least you can afford a used one you know maybe not a very high one but at least you can afford a lower one so when you work as a lady it's there's this confidence or this um confidence it gives you that you can afford things that you really want to without having to depend on people without having to beg for money i've seen people put on you know social media platforms to beg for money for birthdays celebration for birthday party if you're in that category you don't need to go extra amount to celebrate birthdays you don't need to borrow money to celebrate birthdays if you don't have the money you don't have it you know for me it doesn't work it it's just like few hours 24 hours events so why do you want to borrow money to do like a birthday party are you living fake like for people you're inviting in a party i am i am not even like in support of that so it might take time but everything is coming together and everything will definitely come together gradually so sometime this week i also took like a boat step and i ordered sewing machine <laughs> anyways so far so good it's been six months here for me and like i said my fashion business is growing and i still take orders i still produce body production has been going on in nigeria which of course i'm so grateful for like amazing tailors back home who keeps up with the production but at some point in a business it is also necessary or compulsory for you to expand and to look for means of expansion and also have an emergency backup you know 
have an emergency uh, emergency backup just in case if anything happens you can handle it on your own i've seen business owners who you you have staffs or people you who are working with you and if they don't come to work you can't produce anything or automatically your business is going to close down i feel like before you venture into any business or prior venture you even ventured into the business without having the knowledge it is also very necessary for you to ensure that you understand whatever business you are going into and also you can handle the production just in case not because you don't trust people who are working for you but just in case because life happens and life can happen at any time so just in case of any emergency you can step in and do what you want to do so let's say you have a company where you produce bread you should be able to know how to produce bread even though you have workers at the bakery who are producing bread because a day might come where a major worker might not show up or a worker might be feeling too important that you know without me this business is going to fold up without me um this business will not move forward so just in case if things like that happen you can put on your your garments as an employee and get into that bakery and produce the bread and i feel like when people know that you know with you or without you the business is still gonna run there is nobody that is guaranteed to stay for a very long time so and also because i also have the intention to expand for me expansion is something that i am very key at in as much as i have people back home producing i also need to bring the fashion industry to europe 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 Italy, Italy. i also need to bring this fashion industry to europe and i want to bring in african print itself where production will be taking place here like production taking place here and of course i'm definitely not, definitely not going to stop production back home because that's like the major part for me currently now so um but expansion yes i want production to take place here in europe i want to bring in african prints like ankara here not even like the stone one where the production will take place here where people are going to learn how to sew people are going to sew people are going to learn how to express themselves in african prints and it's going to be amazing you know like this vision is so clear to me and it's something that i do is although it's going to cost me a lot to import those african prints here but i'm trusting god because without god with god nothing is impossible so i'm honestly trusting god anyways first step first when you have like a very big goals break it down and just take one step at a time and before you know it your picture of the big dream is going to come to realization so I was able to order sewing machine i was so excited because i haven't sewn in a long while even though i don't really like sewing to be very honest when it comes to the fashion part i love cutting and my best part is to draft pattern i really love drafting pattern which i've not been able to do since when i got to poland i've not been able to draft pattern i've not been able to cut i've not been able to sew i am just doing like the t-shirt right which i'm going to show you guys and the t-shirt does not involve um pattern drafting it doesn't involve cutting it doesn't involve sewing you know it's just more of design and printing work so it's totally different um which i haven't done that so i took the both step this week to order my sewing machine and also weaving machine so i ordered two machines and other stores from china this week and hopefully i don't know when it's going to arrive because i am still thinking of what means of shipment of importation should i use to ship it down so just in case you know for china importation there are two ways you can import things here or any country basically not necessarily poland any country at all you can either use like sea shipping or you can use flights so sea shipping takes longer time whereby your goods go through the ship it takes about 45 days but it's actually cheaper right why for hair cargo it takes about 18 to 20 days but it's actually more expensive compared to um the sea shipping so the previous time i imported stuff to poland from china i made use of the hair shipping because i got like t-shirts i got um t-shirts machines heat press machine so i made use of the hair cargo means and one thing i love about that is that they delivered it to my house address so i didn't have to go to clear any goods somewhere i literally paid for both the clearing and everything and it got to my hostel 
so now I'm thinking of one means to use should I just wait to like 45 days because I don't even have the fabric I want to start sewing with now I don't have any African fabric here with me so even if I use like the hair cargo for it to get here in 20 days I don't still have the fabric I want to sew with it so it's more or less like the machines are going to be lying down without me using it but if I wait for 45 days which is about a month and some weeks maybe by then i should be able to figure out the fabrics you know because why am i rushing to do 18 days when i don't have the fabrics with me but at the same time i'm so eager to see the machine i'm so eager i feel like 45 days is a long time even though i don't have the fabric but just seeing it gives me a form of satisfaction probably when it arrives next month if i'm using 18 to 20 days or two months time if i'm using 45 days i'll definitely show you guys what it looks like so let's get started let's get started let's get started what god cannot do does not exist relax relax take your time eh, everything is gonna be all right everything is going to be well back to business let's go ahead and produce this two t-shirts for a client yeah in poland if you're interested in getting t-shirts the link to my website is going to be in the description box below you can just go ahead and order and if you want to learn china importation how to import from china to anywhere in the world you can also reach out to me and sign up for the importation class and i'm gonna put you guys through you guys go on gold golden hair on a golden clothes on a golden girl's face so it's safe to say I'm a golden girl. Man, I look cute. Period. I'm a fine girl. <laughs> I give it your key part. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys like where I basically like keep things and I just have to show you guys because it's also safe to show you guys like the little things so that finally when we have like this big inventory room where we have like this stock up room you guys can also relate and be like oh i remember when she started from under the bed and when people start to share stories like that some of you can relate and for some that at that point they'll look for a way to tag such, such success to a man you know that it's because a man but had this a man there's some people that naturally once a lady is doing well they have a way of tagging such success to a man you know like is a man that bought a car is a man that bought a phone is a man now that i'm doing it under the bed are you guys seeing it are you seeing it you better see because then hmm. anyways let me show you guys under my bed is actually like my stock up let me see if i can bring you guys closer you guys can see that is where I have everything, guys. <laughs> is this what it is? So, red and blue. I think it's red and blue. Red and blue. So, I have to keep this. And then the t-shirt size you can see like I'm using like under my bed be grateful for your little beginning you know so that when you eventually get bigger you know where you're coming from so this is where I store my things so you can see this is where i store my t-shirt i make use of this under the bed so we are using this size and like i said we are creating two t-shirts so i have two of them i'll set that on my bed and then i have my by now The most important thing is like you are giving people value people love your work people appreciate it there is nobody that's going to order a clothes a dress a t-shirt 
and the person will ask you where are you keeping your t-shirt before the order nobody literally cares about that what they care about is do a good job let them see let it fit them well let it be nice you know regardless of where you are keeping it so i feel like sometimes we use things as an excuse to run away from our blessing you know like oh i don't have a space i don't have a room to keep them i don't want to start because i don't have where to keep them um and that is the reason why i have not started this business that is the reason why i have not done this my dear you are wasting your time start so you can see where i got my <laughs> my inventory from we are keeping it real on this channel i'm so thirsty bending down it is what it is so let's get back to work to the designing part i will never be ungrateful to you lord 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 i will never be i will never be never be ungrateful to you lord so even if you are keeping it under the bed i am still grateful i'm grateful because like i'm grateful because i have somewhere to keep it you know even though it's not convenient to be very honest it is not really convenient because you can see i had to bend down and you can't really like do like this kind of videos whereby you show people like your store you know if you have them arranged in a shelf there's this beauty and there's this way it keeps makes you like your business look is more organized i know you told your friend you're not okay Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
So this is my bed. <laughs> I literally turned like my bed space to like I turned it to whatever to the factory and I have this down part where I have the table. So literally the um bedside and just pieces around here. So I'm gonna place you guys somewhere while I quickly clean up. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need to What a Saturday, guys <laughs> What a Saturday But I'm also very happy that I was able to achieve everything So I'm done having my shower I will just go ahead and clean my face with this facial cleanser And then just call it the night basically so for dinner i just had watermelon and i think i'm just gonna sleep that way i'm a bit hungry but i'm like it's late and then we move in few hours again for tomorrow so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my face and then say a little prayer thank god for today thank god for the others thank god for everyone thank god for you that you are also watching this video because you guys mean a lot to me and if you've watched this video to this point thank you so much i feel like this vlog is actually long but it's a saturday in my life basically not all saturdays are like this trust me some saturdays i just lay on my bed all through not in the mood to do anything i don't have much to do but i think because this saturday is just different and my pc kind of like fucked up earlier so yeah but i was able to achieve everything and i'm so happy thank you so much for watching this video if you've watched this video to this point thank you so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will definitely see you guys in my next video okay bye bye guys see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i am so tired i'll just go ahead and lie down on my bed and then call this a night i'll definitely see you guys in my next vlog bye